Ghana Rumpa Group, which was free. Um, and stand up, everybody. Sit down, wherever you're seated. Well, I mean, wherever you are. Stand up, sit down. Up, down. Up in the sky. Do you still remember our rhyme? Do you still remember it? Oh, she's saying no, you don't. Okay, it's time for literacy. It's time for literacy. Hey, how are we going? It's time for literacy. Last time we looked at it, how to clean the places we must keep clean at home. How do we keep the latrines clean? How do we keep the toilets clean? How do we keep the bathrooms clean? We said we keep our bathrooms clean by by we can mop them, we can scrub them, okay? And we can as well sweep there in case there are some leaves that have gone in our bathrooms. Now, we also looked at how to keep our compounds clean. We said by slashing the tall grass, picking rubbish, we can scrub, we can mop. All those answers we are given last year time. Now, we want to see why do you think we keep those places clean? There are certain places I told you, they must be cleaned on a daily basis. Every day they must be cleaned. Why do you think we have to clean those places? Why do we keep our homes clean? Clean 
to prevent diseases to prevent to prevent diseases ah diseases like a corona if you don't if you 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 stay in a dead environment i tell i told you fly from the toilets fly fly from the latrines if you don't keep those places clean fly house flies from the, the rubbish pit they will come they 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 interact with our food and then once we eat that food we shall get sick but once we keep those places clean and we shall have it and, and we don't have flies it means we shall not get diseases we shall not get what diseases so we keep our homes clean to prevent diseases to prevent what diseases thank you so much then another one can be we keep our home clean to avoid bad smell to avoid bad smell now if you eat on utensils and you leave them there unwashed what do you expect you are going to begin realizing that there is a bad smell that is going to be around now once we keep those things clean we keep the, 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 the bedroom clean we keep the rubbish pit clean we keep the, the the sitting room clean we keep the kitchen clean as we uh, as i talked about we shall not have any bad smell because a bad smell comes in a place that is not cleaned is that okay girls i told you even in the latrine where we expect to be having the, uh, the, 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 the bad smell once you smoke the latrine you will not have the bad smell so why do we keep our homes clean we keep our homes clean to prevent diseases number one is to prevent germs not diseases diseases is number two why do we keep our homes clean to prevent germs these germs are carried by house flies cockroaches wherever they they, 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 they they get them from and they put them on our things we use or on our food now once we keep the places where we expect flies to be we keep those places clean we shall not be having house flies and in if we don't have house flies, we shall not have germs. So once we keep our homes clean, we shall prevent germs. Is that okay, guys? So to prevent diseases, there are those diseases that are brought or that are spread by house flies, like a corella, like typhoid, okay, like mosquitoes. Once we keep our homes clean. You slash that all grass, you will not see mosquitoes. You 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 you, you buy the rubbish pit, you will not see house flies. You smoke the latrines, you will not see cockroaches. So once you do that and you keep those places clean, you are preventing diseases. It means you will not get diseases. So we must be very careful and we must always try to keep our homes clean if we don't want to get diseases and also i have said that if you want to keep your home clean what i mean why it what another reason as to why we should keep our homes clean is to avoid bad smell in any place where you have not cleaned it just expect a bad smell okay so once we once we keep our homes clean we shall not have a bad smell so we keep why do we keep our homes clean it is it to avoid a bad smell because once someone comes in and all gets interacts with the, uh, that environment automatically the smell expected there is not pleasant to human beings is that okay yes if you don't if you don't clean your homes automatically just expect a bad smell once you clean ah you will not have a bad smell that is 
that that is all I wanted to talk about of why we must keep our homes clean. Now we are continuing from there and let's now look at animals and birds kept at home. Animals. And birds kept at home. At home. Let's begin. Stand up, everybody. Sit down. Up, down. Up, down. I think the sky. I can't see the sun. Everybody begin that rhyme with me. Up in the sky. I can't see the sun. Shining in today. Yellow and red. It tells me that I went to go to school and went. Do you still remember? Huh? Hey, girls. I know you. You can. Still recite for me that rhyme. Okay, sit down. Without wasting time, we are going to look at animals and birds found at home. And specifically today, let's look at animals kept at home. Animals kept at home. And today, we are going to look at it, those ones. Now, the animals kept at home are called domestic animals. Domestic. Everybody say the word domestic. We are going to domestic. Domestic animals. Domestic animals. What are domestic animals? One can pose a question. What are domestic animals? What are domestic animals? What are domestic animals? I have already given you the answer. Domestic animals, the word is here. Domestic. Domestic. Domestic animals. So they are put the equation to add what are domestic animals. So we are saying that domestic animals, domestic animals are animals. These are the animals that you're keeping in your home, Z. Domestic animals are animals kept at home. I know and I'm sure that in your homes you have animals that you, you keep. Not so? Like, like me, every day I have to go. Me, in my home, I don't have any domestic animals. Every day I have to go to the neighbor and I buy milk from there because for them they have a cow. Every day I have to go there and I buy milk from them. And even sometimes for them they, they, they slaughter a, a goat and I go there and I buy milk. I, I, don't have, I also feel like having domestic animals in my home. But but I know you are not, but at least for you have space in your homes. Your home might be bigger than mine. I know there are some animals that you keep in your homes. Do you want to tell me that you also buy milk from the neighbor? Ah, she's saying no. Okay, now domestic animals, these are the animals which are kept at home. Yeah, I don't have them in my home, but at least I see them at my neighbor's place. What are these animals that eh? I, I see at my neighbor's place? There are very many. I tell you the other day, Bob, 
of mind is very creative. He has so many animals that he keeps in his home. That's what we shall call them. Examples. Examples. Or domestic. Domestic animals. Uh, examples of domestic animals. Animals that we keep in our homes. Can you tell me these animals? Who wants to tell me? Yes, please tell me. Oh, she's saying in their home they have a cow. Do you have only one cow? Hey, six. Okay, if they are. If, if there are six, we shall call them cows. So you have cows. Any other animal that is kept in your home? Oh, she's talking about the goats. Oh, lucky you. Any other? Hey, thank you so much. I say they keep the sheep. The goats, they keep the sheep. How many sheep do you keep in your home? Sixteen? Hey. Even if they are 16, for the sheep, we still call them sheep. Have you heard? We still call them what? Sheep. We don't say sheep. We still call them sheep. Is that okay, my girl? Oh, thank you so much. Uh-huh. Apart from the sheep, any other animals that we keep in our homes? Uh -huh. She's talking about the dog. The dog. Do you have only one dog? Hey, they have one dog. But if there are more than one, we shall say dogs. Then we have the meow. Yeah. Which, which, which animal is that? Oh, it's a cat. She's talking of a cat. Thank you so much. Then me, I remember one day when I was coming from my home to school, I had no transport. Vehicles had stopped moving, even border borders were, had stopped carrying people. I had no alternative. I couldn't walk. It is far away from my home to school. It's very far. I had no alternative. I had to get a donkey. How many of you have seen a donkey? Eh, you see? So, even the donkey. My neighbor had the donkey. So I had to get that donkey and it transported me up to school. The donkey, we have the cannon. The cannon. Which other? We have the donkey. We have the cannon and the horse. Okay, thank you so much. All those ones, these ones can carry you from your home. If you can really sit on them properly. It can carry you from your home up to school, even with your suitcase. Hey. So, these are some of the, these, are these the only animals that you keep? Somebody tell me. What is, any other animal that you have left out? Oh, she's talking about a rabbit. My, my friend there is telling me that even that they keep rats. Hey, okay, but rats are not domestic animals because whenever you mommy sees it, he has to hit it, meaning she does not like it. These domestic animals we keep at home are friendly to us. We like them. We like them for they are different purposes. But a rat? No. A rat is not a domestic animal. We have this one. People from, from the villages. We have this one. If you feel you don't have energy to go and dig, you can use the bowl. It allows from a piece of a big chunk of a big piece of land. It can plow. So you can call it oxy, bull or oxy. If there are many, you call them oxen. If it is one, an ox. There are many oxen. If it's one bull, bull. Many bulls. Is that okay, girls? Okay. These are some of the animals that we keep in our homes. I told you the animals that we keep in our homes are called domestic animals. And the question was posed to us. It says, what are domestic 
animals. And the answer, domestic animals are animals kept at home. Animals kept at home. The animals we keep in our homes. The animals we take care of at home. Uh -huh. Then they have given us examples of domestic animals, the animals that we keep in our homes. You're, you're the ones who have given me all these answers. Some of them are the other house. The sheep, the sheep, the dogs. If it's one, it's a dog. We have the cats, the donkey, the camel, the horse, the rabbit, the bull, or the oxen. These are some of the examples of the domestic animals. Now, let's look at let's look at domestic animals which give us milk. Domestic animals which give us milk. The domestic animals which give us milk. Somebody is saying, yes, eh. can, can you tell me that domestic animals that eh, give us milk? From which animals, from which domestic animals do we get milk? Which domestic animals give us milk? Yes, please. Oh, thank you so much. Shall say we get milk from a goat or from goats? Yes. from the goat. This is very nice. It has a good taste. I tell you, even this morning, it's what I took. The milk from the goat. So the goat, or the goat, give us milk. The goat give us milk. Any other animal that gives us milk? Yes, please. Thank you so much, my girl. She's saying cows. Yes, we get milk from the cows. Any other? She's saying from the dog? Oh, my friend there said that another domestic animal that gives us milk is the dog. No, that's not right. We don't get milk from the dog. We get milk from only two animals. Two domestic animals which give us milk. We have the goat and the cows. Is that okay, girls? Is that okay, girls? Thank you so much. Now, we have the domestic animal. Domestic animal. Animals or animals that chases away rats. Rats at home. Eh, one, two, three. Oh, you all have rats. Now, which domestic animal chases away those rats in your home? Somebody is saying that dog. Are you sure that dog chases away the, 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 the rats? The other one is opposing. Yes. Which domestic animal chases away rats in your home? Because we are opposing her answer. Oh, she's saying it's a cat. So, a cat or cats chase away rats. Cats chase away rats. Thank you so much. We have another domestic animal that guards our home. The domestic, the domestic, the domestic animals that guards Come 
to stay. It will begin to bark. This is domestic animal. It guards. It does not want things to come in your homes. Which animal is that? Okay, we have that. The dog. Oh, the dog. Okay. Now let's read through. Domestic animals which give us milk. We have the goat and the cow. So we have the domestic animals that chases away rats. It is only the cat. Mm, we have the domestic animal that does our home. We have said it's a dog. Thank you so much for listening to me. We shall begin from there. Bye. Please go and pick.